These chickens in this little chicken tractor have pretty effectively removed grass where we don't want grass removed. Now we've already sort of talked about using the chicken tractors up in the mulch garden because I have grass there that I don't want. But we haven't done it yet for a few reasons. One, this tractor is kind of heavy and it's going to be moving it further away from the house. And the further things get away from the house, the more chances there are for predators and the more chances that you're going to forget to take care of them. We have two hens in here, the black one and the white one, that are going to be going into the main flock probably tonight, so they won't be in this tractor. But the rest of these little chicks are going to live in the tractor for at least another month or so. We're going to take all of these chicks and put them in this crate and transfer them over to a place over here just temporarily. When will it? What are they doing? They're going to go in this little temporary cage over here. Want me to put them in? Is that the last one, Luke? Yes. <laughs> this temporary spot where they're gonna sit for just a few minutes while we move that tractor, it's just a wire fence surrounding like an old dog kennel and it has this fishnet covering it to keep the top covered. Now this chicken tractor right here was made out of scrap wood and it was kind of overbuilt. It's pretty heavy. It's got a lot of two by fours in it and treated lumber. So even though it's a pretty decent design, it does what it needs to do pretty effectively. It's not real easy to move. On the inside, I have these long pieces of heavy rebar attached up underneath and that provides handles for us to lift the whole structure with. Are we there? We're gonna take it to the mulch garden. You're strong, Luke. It got a little bit heavy, so Luke's taking a break. Okay, Luke, your turn. You gotta watch this log over here. Let's go. You still doing something? Okay. Are you good? Okay, you swing up toward the water. Right there. This is an old air mattress. Got a hole in it, could never uh, keep it inflated. So what we use it, because it's nice and heavy, we use it right now, we put it on the north side of this cage and it keeps that north wind from coming in. Gives the chickens just a little extra protection. This right here is Bermuda grass right now because it's winter and Maggie has come up here and eaten a lot of it off. It doesn't look like there's a very big problem with grass in the mulch, but as soon as we get a nice week of sunshine and if we can keep Maggie off of this, this whole thing will look like a lawn. Our goal is to use this chicken tractor in the mulch garden. The chickens have a need to scratch and eat greens all day long. So we're gonna use that desire of the chicken concentrated on this mulch garden, hopefully to get all of the Bermuda grass out of this area so I can actually use it as a garden.
This chicken tractor will be moved every couple days, so they'll be on a fresh patch of grass and mulch every day or two. That will give them plenty of time to get in there and dig and eat all of the grass and the roots, hopefully, but also not so much time that they're completely, you know, saturating one area with lots of manure. We still have a couple of months before we could even plant up here because it's still only January, so it'll be March or April, maybe even into May before we seriously plant this area. So I'm not concerned about uh, having enough time. If we move this tractor every couple days, they're going to cover this entire mulch garden probably two or three times before we're ready to plant. Our main concern for predators is the coyote and occasionally we do get coyotes coming through this part of the property. And there are ways that you can put wire down and fold wire under and all that, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having a chicken tractor that you can move. Understanding the risk, we're going to give it a shot. Hopefully the coyotes will stay away and it won't be a problem. Hey, my battery died earlier and then the sun came out. It's looking pretty nice right now. The wind's still a little cool, but it's a very beautiful day here in South Texas. Actually, sometimes I wear a sweatshirt even when it's 65 and 70 degrees, so. The orchard is looking, well, still kind of dead and wet, but some of it's looking nice. Let me show you over here. I have my nectarine trees. Check that out. All those little green leaves. The nectarine trees are very early to come out. They are low chill hours, which means they only need a very short winter and then they think it's springtime. Which, if we don't get any more freezes, is gonna be a really good thing. We're gonna have two beautiful trees full of nectarines this year. But if it does freeze, I'll lose a lot of little leaves and if it starts to bud and put flowers on, I'm going to lose flowers, which means I might not get any fruit out of this tree this year. But we weren't out here to talk about fruit trees. Let's finish this up. I'm really hoping that moving the chickens up here to the mulch garden will be a good move. We won't lose any of them to predators and they're going to do their job beautifully and prepare this mulch soil for planting here in a couple of months. Right guys? Peep, 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 peep. Are you guys finding any bugs in the mulch? Are you finding bugs? Or is it just grass? I'm thinking there's probably some grubs. Maybe some snails. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Chickens really like digging in the mulch. And I really dig you being here with me. Hey, do me a favor before we hit stop on this video and move on to something else. Can you type in the comments below a question that you want answered? I would like to do a frequently asked question or a questions about the Daddy Curbs Farm episode. And I would like to have your questions in the comments so that I can hopefully address them in a video. I haven't done too many question and answer videos, but I'd like to give it a shot. So just put in the comments a question and do me a favor so that I know that you want it answered in video. Put a question mark before, type your question, and after. That way it, it kind of highlights that it is a question that you want answered. Thank you so much for joining me here on this episode of the Daddy Curbs Farm with the chickens in the mulch garden. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thank you for hanging out with me. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me. It was kind of a cold morning. I wasn't sure what was going to go on on the farm today at all. And I certainly wasn't sure what kind of video you were going to get. But I'm thankful that this project, well, so far the project has worked out. And I hope that it actually works out and we do well with the chickens. And the mulch garden is a great success. And uh, anyway, yeah, thanks.